hope they take away this. Just because you see him doing this to another and smaller group, don't you for a second get comfortable and think that he won't say the same thing about you. Because I think that's part of why this was so jarring. Because I'm sure Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, even Doc Rivers, they all thought, yes, he may have done that potentially to his tenants, to that underclass, but he won't do it to me. He's paying me $5 million a year. I'm on the $21 million contract. I'm his max player. There's no way Donald Sterling thinks that this about me. And they found out through that audio, yes, he does. He considers you on that same level as the rest of them. Yeah, I totally agree with you. But you can't sit up here on national television and make that point by also, but fail to remind everybody that that mentality by Donald Sterling was helped along by one of our own, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Yeah, you're exactly right. The Los right. Angeles chapter awarded this man the Lifetime Achievement Award. If you've got somebody like that giving this man a Lifetime Achievement Award, what are a bunch of dudes that ain't paying attention to some of the things that are going on in housing developments or what have you? What are they supposed to know? What are they supposed to think? When well, you've got one of the one of the organizations that's supposed to be representing the advancement of us, literally contributing to keeping us down by awarding somebody of his caliber a Lifetime Achievement Award. I can't look at Doc Rivers and Chris Paul and players and stop there without looking at the local chapter of the NAACP. Are you kidding me? We got it. We have an obligation to point that out too, because they contribute to the demise of our community with their actions just as much as anything else that we could say about anybody outside of our community when you're doing that kind of nonsense. No, Stephen A., you, you said it perfectly. And, and I'll also say the fact that they took money for this man and they be, they being closer to the situation than probably a Chris Paul or yeah. Doc Rivers, uh, for them to do that was beyond represent, reprehensible. And as much as uh, I never would have criticized the players for not walking out or not playing or for any act of protest that they formed, I'll say this, it's the NAACP's job to do that. And the fact that they fell down on the Thank job, you. I think that's an incredibly bad and awful mark on that particular organization. Couldn't agree with you more. Thanks for saying that. All right. Janelle